hi everyone we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading what information clarity messages everything everything that i can share with you that i see i will so this is a reading for all star signs if you are here i feel like it's a sign in itself and also just wanted to mention as well that um, if you would like to win a free reading with me information is down below you can check it out information on the personal services i offer are down below as well there's personal tarot readings with me rituals to manifest different areas of your life black magic energy removal healing work prayers um, there's also intention items as well which thousands of people have seen results with so definitely do check those out as well if you are interested and yeah that is basically what i really wanted to share with you as well um yeah so everything's there by the way there's intention items for various areas of your life They've got thousands of five-star reviews, which are all at the bottom of my website, shopmeliteguidance.com. There's um, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, wallet, or purse, sage bundles, candles, teas, and so many other items as well. They are super special, so do check them out if you are interested as well. Okay, so let's begin and see what is happening here and what messages I can give to you. I'm going to start with these um, oracle cards first, see what is going on. All right, so let's see. Well, the first card I can see here is walk away. The situation is not serving you. Now, I think what I'm seeing here is that someone here walked away from you. Now, it could be that, you know, after a while you decided to kind of just, you know, walk towards yourself and, and walk away as well. But the main thing here is that I see someone having walked away from you. So we're really going to get into the whole situation around that. We've also got here, so if I just show you that card, there we go. We've also got passion though, okay? It says Kundalini rising, which means that something's getting stronger on their side towards you as well. I'm, one, I'm wondering why they walked away from you if they, if they have so much passion and desire towards you. We need to get into this for sure. So we've got here purity, seeing the soul within. We've also got here, I'm not sure if you can see that card so well, the reflection of the light outside is quite a lot as well, and so you can't see it on, I can't see it on camera, but I hope you can. Got balance, which is uh, alignment, is that alignment? Yeah, alignment. We've got here, karma, cause and effect. This is really powerful, all right? Very, very powerful. I'm going to sum up each of these cards. We are really going to look, okay, at why this person walked away. The real reason for them doing this. So let's have a look. Six of Wands. Okay, Passion. We've got Magician. You know this person's never stopped thinking about you, which is which is why I'm so confused as to why this person walked away. And I'm sure you are as well. Something here tells me that there is an external circumstance that really played a factor in regards to them walking away. Something that they didn't control. And you know what this was? The card literally says it. Magician. Magic. That's why. You're probably thinking to yourself, I thought this person really loved me. I thought this person cared about me. This person was, you know, totally towards me. They they wanted me. They they really wanted to be with me. So how? How on earth, all of a sudden, could they just go in the opposite direction? And how on earth could they just show that they don't care when I know in my heart they care? They showed it. They did it. How? How could they just walk away you know, for some of you, they blocked you, ghosted you, went in the opposite direction. How? You know, you are so confused. And I agree with you, okay? Because even when I was reading, I was like, why do they walk away if they have passion towards you? Why do they walk away if they feel so strongly towards you? You know, they, they feel like you are the right person. Now, purity to me, okay, is the energy of cleansing, saging. Um, is the energy of removal, okay? Removal of lifting out this magic so that the energy is pure again. It's not clogged up with this 
magic, okay? So black magic really honestly isn't good. I know that a lot of people talk about practicing it. As you know from my channel, if you've been watching my channel, I am a huge advocate of staying really, 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 times 1000 far away from black magic. It is not good, okay? I know a lot of people get so desperate because they want certain things in their life. Magic is not the one. You know what? People get things very temporary and then their life gets ruined like this. Do not recommend black magic in any way, shape or form because it is so dangerous. Number two, it will ruin your life. You know, don't do it. Instead, if you've ever practiced it, um, if you feel that you have it, I highly recommend getting it removed and that will really help you to then have more balance uh, in your life to not be controlled with magic. So, you know, you can do a removal for yourself. You can do a removal for other people. Um, it is something I offer, but never any pressure to purchase from me. I just thought I'd mention that. It's because I get so many emails, you know, about people asking me that I mention it in the reading. But um, yeah, you know, it's, it's all listed down below if you wanted to do a black magic removal for yourself or somebody else. Um, but uh, it can really help so that you're not under the influence of something basically blocking your blessings or, you know, the other person's not under the influence of it blocking the blessings. So it's a very strong energy here. You know, karma, cause and effect. Someone here has clearly done black magic to the other person, which is basically why they walked away and went in the opposite direction when naturally all they wanted to do was come towards you. All they wanted to do was be with you. All they wanted to do was make things work with you. And it went in the opposite direction because of this magic that was placed onto them and cause and effect. That's exactly what happened, okay? Um, it's, it's really sad in many ways, but remember what goes around comes around. That's just, that's it, okay? Whoever did this, what goes around comes around. Um, then we've got here balance and alignment. So they definitely need some alignment here and purity. So basically removal of magic allows them to be a lot more aligned to themselves, a lot more balanced within themselves, allows them to come towards you in the natural manner that they would have done to communicate with you because their passion hasn't gone anywhere for you. It's still clearly there and purity allows everything to be cleansed out and taken away. Okay, so yeah. The real reason they walked away from you is because someone's put black magic on them to basically stop them from, from advancing towards someone romantically, which again was you, um, or, you know, because they could have done it in general where they're like, you know, I don't want this person to romantically be involved with anyone else again, or to, for them to have happiness in their life again, which stopped them. Or if they know of you, they could have done it specifically so that the two of you wouldn't be together. Okay. It really varies. Remember, I'm doing a general reading, but I think that this is going to resonate with many of you. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Moon. Two of Wands. Hmm. Okay. So, Ace of Pentacles. It's deliberate, what was placed onto them, very deliberate, had a strong intention to it, but they did it in a way to keep things hidden, okay? Um, this has all been hidden. The magic has been hidden. Some of you don't even know that they've had magic on them. Now, if you have uh, done a removal on them, you know, say for example, you have come to me before for a removal and things like that, um, then that's okay. But this is the real reason they did things, okay? So the real reason was magic, regardless of um, if you've removed it or not. Um, but if you haven't removed it, it's something to consider. Um, then we've got the two of wands here as well. Okay, so this clearly shows here as well that your person tends to be very distracted by other things because that magic isn't allowing them to see you for who you are. And it's it's like a, um, a fog, right? Imagine you want to travel somewhere, but then you've got a fog and you don't literally know where you are. It's so hard for you to travel in the right direction or get to the destination that you want to if you can't see anything in front of you. You know, you're very blind. And so your person is very blind towards you right now. They can't really see things for, what it's like. They're basically under this heavy fog, you know, and the fog has to be lifted so that they can see properly. And that's basically what we are seeing here. Okay, let's get a few more cards to see what's happening. I think the reading is quite straight to the point, to be honest, which, yeah, is very significant. Hmm. Yeah, it just made them be very, very slow. Nine of Cups, naturally they always knew they would come towards you, okay? They always knew they would come towards you. The moon, they just can't see clearly, you know? 
think once they naturally come towards you, their mind will be so much more active towards you. They will know exactly what they want to do, how they feel, how you make them feel. Yeah, they will reflect a lot more. It's just that right now, gosh, they, they are quite stuck, you know, I would say. And, and really, everything is like very hidden. Um, so this is your reading. Um, now, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't know if there's an affirmation for this. Um, yeah, I think the affirmation is quite simple, actually. And that is, this is the real reason. So comment that down below. This is the real reason. Um, and you know, it is down there. Oh, by the way, as well, I just have these sitting on my table. These are things that I've been working on. But this is interesting because I just added this to my online store and actually it removes hexes, curses, black magic, evil eye, negative energy. This works a lot slower than the ritual itself. I just wanted to mention that because it's an intention item rather than an actual ritual. But it's hand beaded and it's handmade and it's basically an evil eye that's meditated with, saged and cleansed. And you can put this under your pillow, you can put it in your wallet, you can carry it with you. Um, and it is completely handmade and basically it helps to lift out those energies. So this is a cheaper alternative. I just thought I'd mention that actually because it was literally sitting on my table. And then these are other ones that I'm working on which are not on my website yet. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the second little pentacle and one of these as well. There needs to be a border put around this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, this one is actually on the website. So if anyone is interested, that's another little cute little alternative as well. That is really amazing. Uh, but the actual black magic removal is definitely the most powerful. So this is your reading. Okay, this was the real reason. Comment down below. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, all that good stuff is down below. And I will see you all very soon and take care everyone. Bye.